hello my beautiful people thank you so much for clicking thank you so much for your support god bless you all for watching today we're going to cook regular okay this is the traditional way in the south sudan this is more a traditional way we are cooking two ways uh we are cooking one with lentil and regular and regular with meat this is a village way add your your onion and meat Please don't add oil. It's not good. You know, it's all about healthy eating. You know, the meat has already uh or fat, and add your spices. Stir it nicely and beautifully. Okay, stir it nicely. You know, and then add your uh tomato uh paste. This is literally fresh tomatoes, like cherry tomatoes, and I blend it together. And I just add it to the sauce. So now everything is all together. We're going to cook it. Now we're going to uh, cut our regular. You know, just chopping it. That's the right word. Chop your regular nicely and beautifully. Tiny, you know. But for me, I don't mind. I can chop it bigger. You know, that's a regular. That's how it look like. It look like a garden plant, but it's not a garden plant. Okay. You might know it. This is a Sudanese dish. Cut your regular noise and let's check for our sauce. How is it now? The water has reduced. I didn't put water. Okay, this is just came out of the what I added before. You know, I just add water now so we can cook the meat. We want the meat to be soft and tender. You see, the meat has fat. That's why I didn't add the uh, oil. And then check it. How is it going? After a while of cooking, the water has reduced. Stir it. Then we're going to add our regular. Add your regular in it. Just pour everything out on it and add it and stir it. Stir it. Stir it nicely and beautifully and cover it. After cooking, this is what I checked. Is already the water reduced and the uh, regular is cooked. It's brown now because we put it in. It was... Um, it was a uh, uh, green but now it's brown it's already done let's move hey my beautiful people let's move on to our next dish yeah you are cooking two two different way to cook your regular you know uh so right now i'm washing this uh regular it's like two not regular actually my head is still stuck with the regular because i cook the regular one and meat previously so let's wash this beautiful lentil look at that barb and color yeah yellow yes that's my favorite color you know wash it wash it nice and thoroughly you know you're going to wash it until the water is clear right now the water is not clear that's how i wash mine i always tend to wash everything thoroughly because i don't know where this lentil migrated from or where it made its journey to arrive to my plate today so it's better to wash it nicely you know um wash it thoroughly nice and beautifully don't just wash it like one go no you need to wash it properly i know they say don't wash it but for me now i tend to wash everything everything that come on my plate i wash it thoroughly because we live here in australia i think travel far far away from different continent to arrive to us in australia so you see the water the water is clearing up now beautifully i mean the lentil is ready not to be washed let's drain the water all out and then we'll show you the result look at that you know it's clear it's not longer cloudy like before when i got it from the um, packaging it was cloudy put it on your uh, saucepan now we're going to cook the lentil we're going to cook it ah nice and delicious my beautiful people ah yes look at that it's already cooking stir transfer it to a bowl uh the lentil soup just transfer it in a bowl now we're going to add oil on the saucepan and we are going to add our onion like white onion you can you can uh you can cook you can fry any onion doesn't matter uh add your spices as well onto the hot oil and cooking um garlic as well add as much as the spices as you want uh the spices that you like that you you, you love or you favor over the others you know do not add any spices that will change the taste or the smell of the sauce just uh, add the regular spices you know out of ordinary that you could add on your lentil soup 
lentil soup is more fragranty we need a fragrant and it has that nice tasty smell um uh, tasty and nice smell is that the right word so add all your spices on there let's see your spices cook you know don't add uh raw spices on your lentil it's not good it's not going to smell well you still can taste the raw um spices when you add it add your lentil soup make sure you cover it cover it so that you don't have hot oil uh splashing on you okay on your arm or your eyes or something just cover after you added a sauce on a hot oil cover it and stir it stir it nicely and keep adding you know little by little keep adding and stir it too stir it nicely and just keep add the rest of your sauce to the saucepan and look at that beautiful color you know it's like a sunrise and sunset it's just a beautiful vibrant color it's very rich in color you know stir it you know that form on top is actually uncooked oil it's not yet cooked when the oil cook it disappear um now add your regular you know add your beautiful regular make sure you squeeze the the excess water out if you don't uh, squeeze the excess water out you're going to have a watery um regular sauce or lentil sauce so you need a thick regular consistency not too thick not too runny just in the middle right consistency so you squeeze the excess oil out of your regular so you have a nice sauce so let your sauce um cooked but make sure you stir it because the sauce is already cooked it's going to stick and you're going to burn so it's better you, you stir it regularly so it doesn't stick or anything like that you know just keep stirring it look at that the regular hasn't yet cooked because it's still a little bit greenish uh green in color so we need a beautiful uh i think brown in color yes we need a little bit brown so we don't want it to be green because regular has an earthy smell and also have a, a little sli slimy texture to it and we don't want that slimy texture when we cook when we eat the the sauce you know we don't want that taste in our mouth it's not good it's not a nice taste you need to really cook it nice 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 so that the earthy smell is not there the slimy texture is no longer there you know so yeah so it's already cooked now it's now we're going to dish it out look at that this sauce was amazing you know it's rare to get the regular here in australia uh but i went to the market and uh I find it in in Sudan they cook they eat it with uh bread or kisra or in the south they eat it with a cedar sometimes it depends what part of Sudan you are but generally people eat it with rig with uh kisra and everything look at that it was tasty delicious don't forget to subscribe and support your girl please